what is SARS-CoV-2? Overview The SARS-CoV-2 will be described under the following headings Introduction Classification of Coronaviruses Zoonotic Coronaviruses Viral Protein Spike Protein and Viral Entry Introduction SARS-CoV-2 is the causative agent for the COVID-19 disease. Here, SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome and CoV-2 stands for Coronavirus 2. SARS-CoV-2 is 120 nanometers in diameter. It contains 30 kilobase positive sense RNA genome. Positive sense means that it can be directly read by the ribosomes in the cells. This genome is coated by the nucleocapsid protein which shows helical symmetry. This nucleocapsid protected genome is encased in a lipid envelope derived from the host cell. It is fatty layer which may disintegrate when it comes in contact with soap killing the virus. Classification of Coronaviruses Coronaviruses have been divided into four genera Alpha, Beta, Gamma and Delta. Alpha and Beta coronaviruses infect mammals while Gamma and Delta coronaviruses primarily infect birds. The bats are the reservoir for Alpha and Beta coronaviruses and birds are the reservoir for Gamma and Delta coronaviruses. There are seven human coronaviruses present in Alpha and Beta coronavirus genera. Out of these, there are four circulating strains of human coronaviruses including human coronavirus NL63, human coronavirus 229E, human coronavirus OC43 and human coronavirus HKU1. They are responsible for about 10 to 15 percent of common cold cases. The remaining three strains of human coronaviruses are SARS-CoV-1, MERS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2. These viruses have emerged into the human population over last two decades through zoonotic transfer or species jumping. All these zoonotic viruses belong to beta coronaviruses. Zoonotic coronaviruses There are three strains of zoonotic human coronaviruses SARS-CoV-1, MERS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2. They have been responsible for three large-scale outbreaks in past two decades including severe acute respiratory syndrome in 2002 Middle East Respiratory Syndrome in 2012 and Coronavirus Disease in 2019. These three viruses most likely emerged from bats and were transferred to humans via an intermediate host. For SARS, the intermediate hosts were civet cats and for MERS, they were dromedary camels. In COVID-19, it is widely believed that virus jumped from bats to pangolins and then to humans. However, origin of COVID-19 still remains controversial. It is believed that after virus jumped from bats to these intermediate hosts, it underwent some rounds of replication. In the process, it acquired few mutations which allowed virus to more easily transmit to the human population. These are not the only coronaviruses found in bats. It has been estimated that number of unknown bat coronaviruses exceed 5000. This suggests that the current pandemic of COVID-19 may not be the last coronavirus pandemic. Viral Proteins SARS-CoV-2 has four structural proteins. Spike proteins, matrix proteins, envelope proteins and nucleocapsid proteins. Spike proteins play an important role during the entry of virus into the host cells 
by binding with ACE2 receptors on the host cells. Matrix proteins are the membrane glycoproteins. They are the most abundant proteins on the outside of the viral particle. They act as the central organizers of coronavirus assembly and interact with other structural proteins. Enveloped proteins are minor proteins. They play important role in assembly and release of virus from the host cells. Nucleocapsid proteins are bound to the viral genome containing all the genetic information of virus. They inhibit many of the host cells defense mechanisms and facilitate viral replication. Spike protein Spike protein is the most prominent feature of the viral particle. It is a homotrimeric protein which means that it is a group of three of the same proteins that come together to form each of these structures on its surface. It has two domains, upper receptor binding domain and lower fusion domain. The upper globular receptor binding domain is also known as S1 subunit. It recognizes a specific receptor, the ACE2 or angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor. It is the most variable part of the coronavirus genome. The lower fusion domain is also known as S2 subunit. It mediates the fusion of virus and cellular membranes. Present in the center of the fusion domain is a fusion peptide. Spike proteins are the main targets of neutralizing antibodies. Therefore, focus of almost all vaccine efforts are to generate neutralizing antibodies against spike proteins. Viral Entry First step during viral entry into the host cells involves binding of spike protein to the ACE2 receptors. ACE2 receptors are mainly expressed in lungs, heart, kidneys and intestines. Binding of spike protein to ACE2 is important but not sufficient for viral entry which requires an additional proteolytic cleavage event. This is brought about by the host cell proteases including transmembrane protease serine 2 abbreviated as TMPRSS2. As a result, the receptor binding domain of spike protein is separated from the fusion domain. This activates the fusion peptide present in the center of the fusion domain. This allows the virus membrane to fuse with the cellular plasma membrane. Once fusion has occurred, viral genome is introduced into the host cell. Thank you.